What's up guys, it's Nin here from Ascent a Second and today we have a different type of video. Today we'll be going over Einstein's grades from his secondary school. And there's a myth going around where in back in the day in the 1900s that Einstein was actually bad in math. And today we're going to try to debunk that. I have his uh, matriculation certificate from 1896 pulled up, which the link is in the bio if you want to check it out yourself. We'll be going through it. What it means what the numbers are because there is a very distinct difference between what his grades say on the sheet and what the german and swiss grades mean so as you know if you have followed einstein throughout his let's say his legacy and his career that uh, he's he's pretty good at mathematics really good at physics and there was a difference of opinion here and the main issue here is that it's the grading system between Germany and Switzerland. So where in Germany, a one, a grade of one out of six means excellent. In Switzerland, six means excellent. So it's the exact opposite. So let's go through this matriculation certificate. So it basically tells everyone that he has passed high school um, and he took school in Switzerland. And so... As we look through it, initially, after completing middle school at the age of 16 in 1895, uh, Einstein sat for the Switzerland Federal Polytech Polytechnic School in, Swi in Zurich, Switzerland. Um, although now it's known as ETH, he obtained the best results in math and natural science subjects, but in linguistic and historical subjects, he didn't do as well so overall he didn't get admission to now called eth and so it's a top university nowadays known as for great research and if you want to do science or stem fields you would go there in switzerland so on the advice of that school he attended argon continental school and so that was in switzerland where he would complete his secondary schooling and so in 1896, he passed and he got a grade of six in physics and mathematics. And so if we look through this sheet in the link that I provided in the bio, it gives it to you in the language that was provided, but it also gives you a translation in English. And so it says the Council of Education of the Continental Arguin hereby certifies that Mr. Albert Einstein um born in March 14th, 1879, attended Cottonwood School of Argoin, namely the third and fifth class of the commercial school. So he took the oral exam on the 18th, 19th, and 21st of September and the 30th. And so he received the following grades. He, if, if you look overall, he's got really good grades. I mean, he got a five out of six in German, three out of six in French. I, I'm, I'm guessing that he didn't take an English um, test in Italian got a five out of six. So, so far his language skills are pretty up there. Um, so in history, you got a six geography four, algebra, geometry, descriptive geometry, physics. He all got a six. And this is where the issue lies. So in the 1900s, specifically in 1935, there was a rabbi in Princeton, um, that showed a clipping of Ripley's column and so it said the greatest living mathematician failed in mathematics and einstein completely debunked this he was like i never failed mathematics in my life and he even went down and doubled down on that statement and said when i was 15 i mastered differential integral calculus and that's really impressive and so he was in primary school he, he was in the top of his class so just for people who aren't familiar with primary school and secondary school so primary school is like the equivalent of elementary and slash middle school in those ranges so it depends on what years you have and your secondary school would be your high school and so at the age of 15 when he applied to polytechnic it was basically a college so they recommended for him to go down a year to secondary school so he was trying to skip and they said go back he eventually did get into eth as we know him today but by age 12 his sister says that he already had a 
predilection for complicated problems in applied arithmetic by age 12. And so Einstein wanted to see if he could jump ahead by learning geometry and algebra on his own, which we can see in his certificate he mastered. He had a six out of six and his parents would bring him textbooks so he can master them over summer vacation. And not only did he learn the proofs, but he tackled the theories and tried to prove them on his own. So that's a deep understanding of what he had. He knew the concepts and he could derive the actual proofs. And he even came up with a way to prove the Pythagorean theorem. And that's really impressive. And so the whole reason why there was an issue of grades that people thought he failed was because he was born in Germany. And so everyone used the, the German grade scale, which means that a one is excellent and a six is the worst grade you can have. That means you failed the course basically. But he went to school in Switzerland. So that's where the issue lies, that everyone assumed he was in Germany, rather he went to school in Switzerland where the grades are the exact opposite. So in reality, Einstein was in the top of his class. Although he didn't get into the university at first, he, pro he proved that he has a deep understanding of mathematics and physics and the natural sciences in general. And he can speak a lot of languages. So I hope that cleared up any misunderstandings that anyone might have when they come across articles that talk about how Einstein failed or he wasn't good in school because he was really good in school, in fact. And his grades here just prove it. And so this is just one of the myths I covered. I really want to get into these types of videos more taking exams of people who failed them. Like if Einstein failed an exam, if Isaac Newton a uh, problem he never solved was later solved by someone else. All these mysteries and fun activities I just want to do throughout this channel. And the plan is to record and upload a video every Sunday. And if I have more time, uh, upload more. But I am also doing a podcast. So look forward to that. That podcast will be about inviting a lot of guests with a lot of different backgrounds. So I'm gonna have my friend who auditioned at The Voice. He will be the first guest. And we're just going to have a lot of significant guests that have a lot of experience. And I just look forward for you to check it out. So that link will be also in the bio, it's called Life Trade-Offs. So a brief thing about Life Trade-Offs is anything in life you do, you need to give up something to achieve something else. So are you doing the best possible trade-off pop like in that regard? Are you giving up the best possible thing and achieving something even better? And so we don't, we just want you to achieve what you want in the end of the day and make the best possible decision for you. And so learning from other people's experiences can be invaluable. And this is the type of knowledge I want to put out there. And so hopefully you appreciate that as well. I can check you out there. Um, you can be in the comments, leaving suggestions for these types of videos, people you want to see. I have a few videos in the works, maybe a day in the life of these mathematicians. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this type of video. But other than that, my links are in the description for tutoring help. And I just thank you for watching. Peace out.